Howdy neighbors and friends, Dr. Nick here, ready for another adventure. This one is called Spectacle for Peace across America. Behind me, I have 17 bikes that I call Spectacle for Peace. I'm going to be driving across the country with my cousin, stopping at cities along the way, locking them up to proclaim peace, because we need a lot of peace right now. There's a lot of anger and hate out there, and I'm gonna go across the country and try and change a little bit of it. So let's get started. Got the truck loaded with the 17 Spectacle for Peace bikes. Tomorrow morning at about five o'clock, we're gonna set off for Spectacle for Peace across America. The first stop we're gonna have is going to be Atlanta. That's going to be our longest ride from Sarasota. From Atlanta, we go to Chattanooga. Chattanooga to Nashville. Nashville to Memphis. Memphis to Little Rock. Little Rock to Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City to Amarillo. Amarillo to Santa Fe. Santa Fe to Albuquerque. Albuquerque to Flagstaff. Flagstaff to Las Vegas. Las Vegas to Reno. Sacramento, then San Francisco, our final destination. We plan on doing it in about a week and have a lot of fun. I'll be sharing the driving with my cousin. And that is it. Come on, it all starts. Peace. This is our first stop in Atlanta at Centennial Olympic Park. I chose this place for the fact that back in 1996 they set off a bomb and somebody actually died here. So I'm leaving the spectacle for peace here for peace instead of hatred and anger. We got the Centennial Park, which is actually right over here on the side. And we've got a big Ferris wheel right behind me. So yeah, success for our first one. Now we're on to Chattanooga and going west. Chattanooga. We're going to be locking up a bike right here in front of the, the Chattanooga train station and then we're going to be heading out to our next destination which will be Nashville. I had to stop at Home Depot to get some tools uh, for the rest of the trip and while Cousin is in there I uh, figure I'd read a couple quotes from this book that I got 365 quotes to live your life by. Yeah, it's a good one. So, uh, here's one. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah. So as we're going down the road, we'll think about that one. Ciao. <laughs> front of the Grand Old Opry, the Ryman Auditorium. Actually, it's not the Opry anymore. They've moved out the side of the city. So I'm going to lock it up right in front of the Ryman Auditorium because I like country music. And then we're going to head to Memphis for some blues at Beale Street. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this little excursion across the country for peace. Because if you think peace, better than hate and anger. Here we are on Bill Street, home of the blues, rock and roll in Memphis. Another stop here on Spectacle for Peace across America. About ready to head on out to go to Little Rock, our next destination.
junction bridge going over the Arkansas River. Got the spectacle for peace bike here, chain, and lock. And then tomorrow we'll be heading to Oklahoma City to lock one up at the park where 162 people lost their lives when they bombed that building. It should be quite interesting and very, very emotional. Today, we are at the Oklahoma City Memorial where 162 people lost their lives because a despicable deplorable set off a bomb. Didn't know any of them. And the ages range from little toddlers, what, two years old, to old people in their 70s and 80s. It's gut-wrenching. And when I think about it, I, I, start to, I start to feel a tear and I start to cry. Now you may be wondering how this all started. It started back in 2012 when all the shootings in schools were happening. I felt helpless. What could I do? Well, I took my bike, I painted it white. I put peace signs, doves, and white roses on it. And I rode around the town that I live in, Sarasota, Florida. Well, I took that one step further and I went up to New York City. And I started at 118th Street, where my sister lives, and rode all through the city with a Spectacle for Peace bike. Because I believe you see peace, you think peace. While Cousin's inside Walmart, because I refuse to go inside Walmart, he needs a few incidentals, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. I figured I'd uh, sit out in the truck and read my book that I bought before I left. 365 quotes to live your life by. Here's a good one. When you make peace with yourself, you make peace with the world. Muktananda. Yeah. One more. Oh, the birds sound so great today. Yeah, they're having fun. If you are depressed you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Lao Tzu. Yep. Well, here comes cousin, so better get going on the road. Here we are at Cadillac Ranch, our last stop on the third day of Spectacle for Peace across America. There are 10 Cadillacs here buried in a cornfield that the owner of the cornfield, who was a millionaire, contracted these hippies from San Francisco to bury these Cadillacs into his cornfield. Quite interesting, you might say. And then over the years, they've gotten graffitied, as you can see. So I'm going to leave the Spectacle for Peace bike here, and nine times out of ten, I can almost safely, assuredly, say that this bike will get spray painted too. But that's okay, because I won't be here anymore. I'm here to proclaim peace, love, happiness, joy, and laughter. We're on the corner at Winslow, Arizona. That's right. It was such a fine sight to see. There's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed board. She's slowing down to take a look at me. That's it. So we're going to put a spectacle for this bike in, and then we're going to move on to Flagstaff, Arizona, and then to Las Vegas. We're in Flagstaff now at Wheeler Park, right in front of City Hall. I'm going to lock it up right next to a book dispensary. It really looks cool. It's like a little house. And and we're going to our next destination, which will be Las Vegas. But we're going to find a place to sleep tonight because we're tired. And then tomorrow morning we're going to hit Vegas. And who knows what's going to happen? Because I got cousin with me. And with cousin, anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, it's been a long journey. We're in Vegas now. Greetings, friends and neighbors. Here we are in Las Vegas. Yep. And we're uh, locking this up in front of the, the Arts District. All the big hotels are down this way. We're that way. We're sort of east, northeast of uh, the Strip. But this is where they told me the memorial is. It's a temporary memorial for Mandalay. And this is where I wanted to put it. So, got the Spectacle for Peace bike here. I'm gonna put a couple here in Vegas all around. Down by, we're staying at the MGM Grand Hotel. So that should be fun. And then, uh, then we head up to Reno. <laughs> Reno, Nevada at the Truckee River Walk. We went by this and I said, this is a spot for one of my favorite bikes, the collapsible Spectacle for Peace bike. It got run over in Sarasota and I was gonna leave it in, at home, but I said, you're coming with me. We're gonna put you in a special spot and this is that special spot right here. So we're gonna lock it up and we're gonna head on out to Sacramento for our second to last lockup, and then it's off to our final destination, San Francisco. I wanna thank you so much for joining me on this escapade. It's been a gas, me and cousin. Cousin, put your fingers in there, let them know you're here. Yeah, baby. We've rekindled our, our friendship, and, and it's just been an unbelievable experience. So, next up, Sacramento. As we were heading out of town, we saw the sign going across the street, Welcome to Reno. And I yelled, because Cousin's driving right now. I didn't yell, actually. I sternly said, Stop! Stop! And so we're going to lock one up right here. Reno's going to get two. And then we're going to head to Sacramento. We're gassing up. So while Cousin's inside getting his power drink, I'll read from... 365 quotes. That's right. What do we got here? When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Here we are in City Hall Park, Sacramento. Spectacle for peace across America. Our second to last stop. The last one will be in San Francisco down by the marina. So we're going to lock this up and then we're going to we're going to take it easy, you know, like we did in Winslow, Arizona. And then we're going to head to San Francisco tomorrow. Get rid of the bike I have in the back of the truck and then get rid of the truck. We named the truck Artie after my dad and uh, we keep talking to Artie. So, it's coming to a close. It's very sad. We've had such a fun time. And it's been about a week. So, here we go with another lockup of Spectacle for Peace across America. Our last stop in the Spectacle for Peace across America. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, right here in the marina down in San Francisco. Sister lives only two blocks away, so we're going to uh, unload the truck, which we affectionately call Artie after my dad, take it back to U-Haul, and then we're going to have a little family reunion, and it's going to be some kind of fun. A lot of cities, a lot of peace, love, joy, and happiness spread across America. Now, I don't, I'm not going back to check the bikes. When I go back to Sarasota, where I live, Florida, I'm going to take the northern route and check out something different. Maybe I'll take some bikes with me then. But I want to thank you so much for joining me on this excursion of peace. Hey, cousin, come here. Come here. Cousin's been helping me the whole time filming, and now he's here to say a few words for folks out well, there. Well, it's been a lot of fun uh, on 
Dr. Nick's adventure, spreading peace, love, and joy across the country. We've uh, definitely touched a lot of people, and with the bikes being there and where they're at, we'll touch a lot more. So the, uh, the word continues, and uh, Dr. Nick continues the adventure. The venture's not over. It's only just begun to spread the word of peace and love. Blackout.